good sunny morning to you here in Park City, Utah. Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing. And I want to show you this Sprinter van behind me. And a little behind the scenes of what I do to detail this uh, when I see it every four to six weeks. There are some serious issues here as far as this vinyl wrap. Like, I really don't want to polish on vinyl. And so when you get really close up to it, you see that there's plenty of swirls, right? From improper washing, whatever, life gets in the way. And I'm not even concerned about, about perfection. What I am concerned about is a nice interior detail, getting the windows clean, which we've done here, getting all the plastic clean. You know, they use this for their kids too. And so just wanted to get the floors mostly clean. And it doesn't always look super clean, but it is. So it's like, you just have to like figure out what is my time worth? Um, you can still see a little dirt there. So it's like, we're going for a nice, good clean, but not necessarily a detail. They use this, um, definitely it's a vehicle that gets used. But let me just show you around. This is the finished product. Um, I spent about two and a half hours on this. Like I said, it's it's kind of a maintenance. Like, there's some issues with the trim here that, you know, need to get addressed at some point. So it's interesting trying to, like, set expectations. But from this angle right here, let's get rid of the sun. That still looks really sick. So I, uh, I washed it properly and then uh, and then got it all taken care of let's walk you over to kind of what i've got set up here this is my bucket for rinseless washing uh there's my rigid vacuum sorry i'm just trying to hurry and get done with this job this is my steamer and i had everything sitting here i'm like let me just kind of go through what i use in no particular order i'm using americana stripper as my paint prep it's a little streaky it's not my favorite product i decided that trim shine i love i use this to apply tire shine on those tires they look okay. I, I like this method. I'm not in love with it. I use BRP um, for tire shine. I use this for my waterless wash. Verdict is still out. It smells nice. Just like Wipeout and Rinseless Wash uh, O&R. Brake Buster didn't even use that. Um, I did use F-Bomb and Wipeout for my classic uh, three ounces of uh, F-Bomb and two ounces of Wipeout. The Shizzle, Bizzle mix, whatever it's called. It uh, has a nice amount of cleaning power, and then because of the polymers and the uh, wipeout, it leaves a really rich color on the plastics. This, I think, is my brake buster in a wrong bottle. I didn't use that. I use this. It's actually really nice. It uh, it colors in the wheels. It's kind of like trim shine, but it sometimes works better on, like, grills and, uh, and making rims look good for, like, 10 minutes, <laughs> which sometimes, you know, you just want the customer to be happy. Um, this says paint prep, but this is my O&R diluted i just use that or wipe out for um for windows and then this is my uh hyper seal which i used as kind of my last step product on this so i did a paint prep and hyper seal so i know that even though the paint's not perfect now we're just protecting it uh down the line so this is my arsenal i'm actually about to do a big carpet job so this is my 12 pound uh, heated extractor so uh, more to come on the carpet front but the detailing journey continues hope you guys are having a great day sorry for the mess it is officially busy season, thank God. The work is plentiful, and uh, that is a good thing. Take care, guys.